Name Weather Rate's most accurate forecast since 2008. Okay, and the rain just keeps coming down. Take a look over my shoulder at Catawissa. It's up to 41 degrees, though. That's good. But check out that wind gust. Yeah, it's going to start to get windy as we go through the night and into tomorrow. 41 over there in Wilkes-Barre. And it's raining. I was just up on the roof. I can attest to that. And you can see it right here in the radar. We have a little bit of a break over bias, but there's a lot of rain out there to our south and west. And we got to go through that before this is finally all said and done. The good thing is we're going to see those temperatures go up as we go through the nighttime hours. That is a good thing. So none of this is going to be in the frozen variety. In fact, we'll be up in the 50s by the time you wake up tomorrow morning or maybe you're just getting home. One of the two and it's going to be feel kind of mild. But it's not going to last. OK, we have a warm front that came through and now all that moisture is coming in. This low pressure is just going to start to scoot off to the north and east. It's going to drag everything out and as it does. Well, it's going to start to get better, but we have the heavy rain right now and you can see the yellow bands of heavier rain. Then if you're looking at 12 o'clock now over my shoulder, we're going to be looking at just about the end of the heavy rain. That's a good thing if you're out there partying anywhere and you're going to see showers for the rest of the night and then tomorrow morning you could see a stray shower out there then high pressure builds in kind of and we're going to be looking at colder air coming over the Great Lakes that could produce a snow shower up there in the northern tier then high pressure builds in looking pretty good for Wednesday it's going to be chillier though and then we have a clipper that's going to go off to our north but it could scare up a couple of snow showers in our area on Thursday and then high pressure builds back in and we're going to watch this system that's going to be in our area Sunday or Monday so we'll see what mother nature has in store for us but for tonight we're going to be looking at probably about an inch for most folks uh, about six tenths of an inch up there at Oak Airport and six tenths of an inch over there in Hazleton. So up there tonight, if you're going out, well, it's going to be 42 degrees for a low with rain heavy at times, breezy and showers after midnight. That is a good thing. At least the heavy rain will give it a break as we go into the new year. So for tomorrow, shower early, mostly cloudy, breezy. Temperatures fall in the afternoon with a scattered snow shower north. High of 50, but that's going to be kind of early, Candace, and then we're going to see those temperatures drop as we go through the afternoon hour. Now, Wednesday, it's going to be chilly, 36 with partly sunny skies. Thursday, a couple of scattered snow showers out there, 38. Then Friday, we're back in the low 40s once again with a chance of showers later in the day. And again, on Saturday, high of 40. Sunday looks dry right now, 42. And then Monday, with that system coming up from the south, we're going to be looking at a high of 40 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. And always stay on top of the weather by downloading the new weather app onto your cell phone. So it's going to be wet out there. Bring the umbrella. Yeah. And just be careful driving. Got a little bit of fog. Got the rain. You know, be smart. Yeah, that's a good thing to say on a night like tonight. Be yeah. smart on many levels. Yeah, we want you to watch the news. Don't be the news. Exactly. We, we don't want to cover you tomorrow.